Hello everyone, welcome to the Lee Chappy channel. I hope everyone is doing fine on this Christmas Eve. That's the time I'm actually filming it. Um, so yeah, first off, I want to obviously wish everyone a, a Merry Christmas and um, a Happy New Year. Obviously, this year has not been the best. Um, I think we're all looking forward to what 2021 can give us. Hopefully, only positives. Um, obviously, we're still getting through um, the virus and all this lockdown stuff. But yeah, um, I'm going to get straight on to um, this, this week's um, matches that have happened. Um, so yeah, let, let's get straight to it. So the first one I'm going to be speaking about is the Crystal Palace Liverpool score. So um, if you've missed this one, then you must be living under a rock because obviously this scoreline was incredible. I actually watched the game live. Obviously, um, with me doing the FPL, which is, if you don't know, fancy uh, Premier League, um, I'm, I'm trying to watch most games so I can see who's hooking me up with the, the points. But yeah, um, yeah, Crystal Palace, Liverpool, Liverpool won 7-0. Um, uh, there's not even any point talking about all the goals because they were all just really good goals, to be fair to them. Um, and yeah, they just dominated Crystal Palace completely. Um, it, it leads to, uh, obviously, Liverpool now at the top of the table um, ahead of the Boxing Day games. Uh, they're, he, they're just ahead of um, uh, Leicester now. They've got a nice lead ahead of Leicester, um, a couple of points ahead, and obviously Man United behind Leicester. So yeah, that that's obviously boosted Liverpool massively. Um, that was before obviously Tottenham lost to to Leicester City, which I'm going to speak about in a minute. But um, yeah, it, it's it's made Liverpool you know look quite promising for the season. Yeah, again, unfortunately, but um, yeah, it's a good result. Not much to speak about apart from the fact that Liverpool just absolutely smashed them to pieces. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. We we all knew Liverpool were going to win. It was just how many. Um, the stats were, you know, definitely Liverpool signed as well. 14 shots to, to Crystal Palace's 5. 65% possession to Crystal Palace's uh, 35%. The passes were just doubled. Um, accuracy was better for Liverpool. Just everything was better. Obviously, Liverpool committed a lot more fouls. So that's probably just because um, of the fact that they pressed the ball so quickly and, and want to win it back. But yeah, it, it was just a completely dominated game. And um, it was a great game to watch. And, um, you know, 7-0 anyone would want to watch it and uh yeah a good game all right so next up um the match i'm going to be speaking about next is everton and arsenal um again it seems like this show is just becoming me slayer and arsenal uh maybe i should just have my own show which is just banner and arsenal or something but uh don't think lee would want me to do that considering he's got quite some good connections with uh, <laughs> all the arsenal lot but um yeah arsenal at the minute they're just not doing very well everton no, obviously just they came to um, to play them and just seemed like the better team. Obviously, Arsenal had the the more shots and the more possession, which is you know everyone knew that was going to happen. It was always going to be who took the chances, and uh, yeah, Everton did that. Um, you know they they got the goal at the end of the day. Um, the two goals, including the the own goal from um, Arsenal, it seems like they're doing that a lot uh, lately. I don't don't know why. Maybe the the team just trying to get Arteta sacked or something. But yeah, the possession was. Um, Based towards Arsenal, 58% for them and only 42 for Everton. Um, the passes was quite similar, to be fair. There wasn't that much in it, but Arsenal just ahead. Pass accuracy, again, not that much in it. Um, similar similar in that. The fouls, they commit the same. And, um, yeah, the rest was just... It's pretty similar match, to be fair. Arsenal were unlucky to lose it, but at the end of the day, Everton took the chances and Arsenal didn't. Um, so, yeah, how long does it, um, does it you know, have to be until Arteta gets uh, sacked? Um, do you think he will get sacked or do you think they're going to keep with him? I don't know. I think um, Personally, I think he will get sacked eventually, if they, especially if they keep losing. I mean, what is it now? They're, they're 15th. Um, let me just have a look right now. Um, it definitely doesn't leave them in a very comfortable place at all. Um, yeah, Everton are now 4th. They're doing so well this season. And yeah, Arsenal in the 15th. God, they're, they're literally three, uh, two places behind um, and then they're in relegation zone. So that that's that's pretty mad in itself to be fair but yeah um i mean at the end of the day i'll, I'll be talking about it in a second about my predictions for the next game but it all lies on this next game i reckon um to see how arsenal season will be can they turn it around very difficult to say but yeah that that's what i think um yeah i just think it'll be quite a difficult season for arsenal personally all right we're on to the next game and this is the big one for this channel um in particular uh tottenham versus leicester City. And I can imagine um, everyone who watched the watch along um, definitely know the outcome. Um, obviously, we did a little collab with uh, Expressions, and um, <laughs> there's a little bit of a fallout. Um, Expressions actually kicked Chappie 
the same amount of times as Leicester scored past them. So that's that's a cool little stat for you there. <laughs> but um, yeah, Leicester City beat Tottenham two 0 It was a very con- convincing win from them. In fact, um, although both the goals were quite dodgy, um, the penalty was a, it was a nailed on penalty. When I say dodgy, it's not really dodgy, but they just weren't open play goals really. Um, Vardy scored a penalty from a, a very dodgy Aurier challenge. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Aurier is that is that how you pronounce it? Anyway, um, he just seemed to like attack him or something in in the box, just completely uncalled for. To be fair, and then obviously Alderweireld um scored an own goal. Leicester, to be fair, dominated in the shots. It was the only amount of time before they get a goal themselves, and obviously they were a bit unlucky with the Madison offside that they got ruled out. Was it like an armpit hair or something, which was a bit ridiculous. Tottenham had the more possession, which is you know what what we. Uh, come to think now with the big teams most of the time they do have the you know more of the ball accuracy was actually more towards um the Leicester in fact uh with one more percent more pass accuracy fouls pretty much the same and the rest of the stats pretty much the same so it was a quite an equal game but Leicester dominating overall in the chances and uh it was only a matter of time before they were um, outscored them and which they did so yeah before we go into the next game uh quickly I just wanted to mention kind of the pattern if you haven't realized already I'm not doing every single game in the game week. I've changed my mind in that just because I think it will be tedious if I do the boring game. So I'm just going to recap the, the quick ones. I'll, I'll do a predictions for every game at the end of this uh, video. But um, yeah, I just thought maybe I'll just do the most interesting games to speak about briefly before I go into the predictions, which is mainly what everyone's for here for, to be fair, so they can do the same. But uh, yeah, that that's, that's what I'm doing. So the next one, in fact, is... The Man United Leeds United um yeah game which was which was a massive game for us um we we smashed Leeds United completely they just it was the game of the season everyone knew we we would be the best at um we just seemed to you know just completely uh, defeat their whole purpose in in that game they wanted to counter attack us and we just completely outscored them um in the stats we we were the better team as well we had 26 shots which is to be fair we should have probably scored more um 14 shots of them being on target they actually have more possession but that's because we kind of counter attacks on their mistakes if you get what i mean if you watch the game you'd understand but it was very weird it's like we counter attacked each other but united was just a lot more clinical with the counter attack um our pass accuracy was actually worse they had more passes and um more pass accuracy we committed the same amount of fouls um, and the rest is just a load of nonsense, to be fair, the rest of the stats. But, um, yeah, we just completely outplayed them. We, the tactic that they, they choose to play in that match, which they do every single game. Um, so it's not going to be long until other teams figure it out as well. But, um, yeah, we we just completely um, just completely smashed them out of the park, to be fair to you. Um, but, yeah, it was a good game. Um, if anyone watched it, they definitely agreed with me. Can't believe there was um, two really high-scoring games in the Premier League in one week again. Um, similar to <laughs> when uh, Man U and Liverpool both lost um, 6-1 and 7, was it 7-2 to Aston Villa? Um, I can't remember that far back to be fair, but yeah, Liverpool and United turned around in this game week and made it the um, opposition that they scored uh, massive goals against. So yeah, um, title race is on. So one more game um, I'd briefly like to mention before I move on to my predictions is the Chelsea 3 to the West Ham nil. So I believe Chelsea are actually coming off a of uh, two back-to-back losses. So, yeah, this was a massive game for them, and it was a derby. Um, I think West Ham are... Uh, generally, my geography is awful, but um, I think West Ham are based in London. Um, so, yeah, I think it was a little bit of a derby. Um, they Yeah, Chelsea just completely smashed them to pieces, to be fair. Um, I'm only going to touch it a little bit briefly, because, obviously, the, there's a couple of Chelsea fans I know of. Um, Abraham had a good game, scoring two goals um, in quick concession, um, one after the other, late goals. Um, yeah, they... they just completely smashed it. Um, had more shots, more possession, more passes, and just generally played with a better team. They also committed a lot more fouls, but again, that's tied down to you know how Liverpool committed more fouls. It's because they were you know wanting to win the ball back so they can carry on scoring goals. And I think that was Thiago Silva's first goal. Um, yeah, so that was his first goal for the the club. All right, here we go. So here is the predictions for the match day fifteen, the Boxing Day games. So Leicester City. Man United, um, my prediction for this one, this is always going to be a good game because um, obviously I've got, I live in Leicester, but I'm a Man United fan, so I've got family who support Leicester. I usually go around um, to to my dad's side, which is obviously the Leicester fans, to watch the game. So I probably won't be featured in the watch long, this watch long as much. But um, I think Lee's got um, plans to kind of collab with Rance or something in the 
do a half time bit anyway so it's not too too bad i'll try and pop in for the start or at the end or something but yeah that that if you don't see me as much that's that's the reason but anyway back to my uh, predictions it's probably um going to be very close but um i do reckon man united will win and probably keep a clean sheet honestly um they you know leicester are playing very well at the king power this year anyway and uh, on top of that our form's just like gone out of the roof all of a sudden um and you know leicester have got a bit of a dodgy record against us so it all kind of ties into you know into a man you win obviously this this is a leicester based channel so none of you guys are going to want to hear that i do think leicester have got a, a definitely got a chance i mean th this is definitely the the time in the year for us to mess up um and if you win if you guys do win this you, you're definitely on for the title just like we are um but obviously we've got a game in hand which is kind of giving us a bit of an advantage um, but yeah, I do think it'll be a 2-0 two, two win to United. I think Bruno will score. And um, obviously, I think I say that every year, every game, sorry. Um, I think Bruno and Rashford will score. Um, and if they do score Leicester, I think it'll be a valid goal. Um, so yeah, 2-0 or 2-1, but I'm leaning towards more of the 2-0 side of things. So good luck to everyone um, who's watching the watch along. I definitely think Leicester have got a chance. I'm not, I'm not writing you guys off, but it's just generally what I think. All right, so up next um, we've got Fulham versus Southampton. So I'm going to briefly kind of swipe over these ones a little bit because obviously I don't know too much about it, so I'll just be rambling on. But Southampton are definitely um, looking like a really good side this season. So I think it'll be quite comfortable for them because Fulham obviously aren't playing that well. So I think it'll be a 3-1 Southampton win or a 2-0 Southampton. I don't think Fulham will win at all. But yeah, I'm just going to straightly move on to the, to the next one because quite frankly, I don't know too much about either of the sides. So yeah, we've got Aston Villa versus Crystal Palace. So this is going to be actually be quite a tough one. Um, Crystal Palace obviously have just came back from a 7-0 loss. So um, yeah, they're not the spirits aren't going to be too high. Aston Villa have been playing all right this season. Um, I think it'll be a 2-1 Aston Villa win. Um, I think Grealish will have a good game. Um, and yeah, I just think um, Crystal Palace will be too hurt from the 7-0 loss that they've just suffered. Um, and yeah, that, that's, that's that for that match. Um, okay, so <laughs> up next... We've got an Arsenal versus Chelsea, so we've got a derby, another derby going on. Um, let's be honest, there's only one winner here, and um, I'll let you two, I'll let you guys um, decide this one. But um, yeah, I'll leave this one with you, but because uh, I don't want to talk about too much about Arsenal, so I'll leave this one with you guys. Um, if I was to guess, um, it will be something definitely pushing over to the Chelsea side of things. So um, I'll let you guys decide with that one. Um, then we've got Man City Newcastle, which I think um, New um, not Newcastle. God, I nearly said Newcastle will win. Um, I think Man City will win, and I think it'll be two 0 Just because at the minute um, they don't seem to be scoring a lot, but they do seem to be doing like good performances against small ones, especially keeping um, the goals out. I was going to actually transfer a City defender in, but I've decided to turn towards um, Alexander Arnold, considering um, City have had a got a harder run of games coming up compared to Liverpool. Um, so yeah, I've kind of swayed towards the Liverpool side of things. But yeah, I think Man City will win 2-0 comfortably. Got Sheffield United and Everton. I think Everton will win that one easily. I think it'll be a 2-0 win again. Um, I think Carver Lewin will get himself on the score sheet. Um, and yeah, I think that will be a good game, to be fair. See what Sheffield um, have got. Obviously, they're not doing that well this year. See if um, they could stunt Everton's um, you know, Champions League or even Europa League hopes. Um, then we've got Leeds United versus Burnley. Obviously, Leeds United have just came back from a, a 6-2 defeat, but I think Leeds United's attacking is just amazing. Even against us when, when we lost, well, not when we lost, when we beat them 6-2, um, they just didn't stop, just kept running. So I think that will be too much for Burnley, considering they're, they're just a team that hold back and defend. So yeah, I think Leeds United will actually win this one. Um, I think it'll be a 2-1 or something like that. Um, and then we've got West Ham-Brighton. I think West Ham will uh, beat Brighton. Um, I think it will be, although they obviously just lost 3 nils to Chelsea, but there's a different, different, um, you know, different uh, squad difference, isn't there, with, between Chelsea and, and uh, your Brighton. But um, yeah, I think West Ham will, will beat them, um, you know, 2-1, two, 2-0, two something like that. Right, and then here we've got Liverpool-West Brom. I think this will be a massive scoring game. I think it'll be like 4-1, four, 4-0, four, something like that. Then we've got Wolves Tottenham, and I think that will be a 2 1 Tottenham win. Um, Kane will get himself on the score sheet. And no doubt, obviously, to the game of four, Salah will definitely get himself on the score sheet because he just seems to be um, in his prime right now and can't stop scoring. 
Um, but yeah, that that's the end of it. Um, they're the predictions for the game week. But if obviously if you if you guys like the this type of video, if you can't like listening to me waffle and stuttering in my words, um, drop a like and subscribe. Um, tell me down in the comments as well, or even in the live chat right now, and obviously I'll carry on. If you don't like it, I'll scrap it. It's that simple. Um, I'd rather be focused on um, you know helping Lee out with with content of him rather than um, doing content that you guys don't want if it is me just being involved. I definitely want to do a show with Lee um, soon where it's just me and him. Um, maybe a combined lineup or something like that um, that we do. But it all depends on, on his timing, obviously, because he's very busy. Um, so, yeah, it, it, this is why I'm doing this, really, so we can uh, get a bit of content, content out here and there. Uh, this video will be out before Boxing Day, hopefully. Um, I'll try and schedule it as a premiere um, for everyone to watch. But if it's um, just after or before, I hope everyone had a good Christmas or I hope everyone has a good Christmas. Um, and yeah, best best wishes um, and I'll see you in 2021 um, or probably just after because it will be, um, no, just before, sorry, because um, it will be the, the watch along. So I'll be in the chat for that one. But yeah, I hope everyone has a good Christmas and um, in a bit.